Oh, we finna get dropped off, nigga. Chat, y'all ready to see me get dropped off, man? Big comp, nigga. Which one of y'all guarding ball? Damn, my niggas don't talk. Poster, switch with me. Poster, switch with me. I'm gonna always guard corner. Go! supposed to be your moment This supposed to be your moment This supposed to be your moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei and listen up man, we actually got a blog. I think that's what it's called about NBA 2K22 man. New city New neighborhood. My career in the city, Lincoln. Offense buffed. New my team shit. Gameplay shit. They saying they nerfed stamina. The game sounding ass. <laughs> we gonna go over it, man. I'm gonna give y'all my opinion about everything. Y'all know I'm the realest YouTuber on YouTube with this 2K. With this 2K shit, you know, I don't double twist or gawk none of these you know, like, I ain't, you know, I, I give it to you straight and raw. We still going to play the game, you know, regardless. You know, we love basketball. And, yeah, we're going to be grinding all year. But before I get into this article, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you new. Help a nigga grow. Hit that damn like button. Help the noties go out. And, um, yeah, let's get into it, man. So 2K tweeted all this out, man. Let's check out what they got to say, man. Let's see what. Let's see what Michelle Wang is talking about. First, they tweeted out some cool little sweat images. Let, 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 let's check out the images first. You know, you got Luca. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. All this shit look the same to me. You know, what I mean? you know they got young dirt, you know, the dripping of the sweat is immaculate. Do these graphics just blow y'all away? Oh my God. I'm not a graphic nigga. I'm a gameplay nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. None of this shit excites me. And we got Candace Parker. Nice. The dripples of the sweat. NBA 2K22 features and preview. On the court gameplay. So let, let's have a look see, man. I'm, I'm excited to read this. Key on court gameplay improvements are being implemented. Keep in mind, man, they say all this shit every year, you know. But we gonna see when we play the game. So, you know, don't get too excited, bro. You know, they lie all the time, man. Are being implemented to give the player not only more control over how they score the ball, but also how they counter those moves on the defensive end. I wish there was a counter on defense, man. That would be immaculate. Like, so many different things. It doesn't seem like you could really counter many things, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. Anywho, he says... That's only the beginning. More impactful gameplay changes will be introduced along with the first NBA 2K22 gameplay reveal trailer coming out later in August. Okay. Okay, the gameplay trailer coming out in August. Offense. Breaking down defenders off the dribble with new signature moves and combos. Precision jump shooting. Dunking in traffic. And pulling off alley-oops that have all become more skill-based. How the hell have alley-oops become more skill-based? Okay, breaking down defenders, they saying that's becoming more skill-based. Precision jump shooting, more skill-based. Mm, dunking in traffic. So it seemed like yeah, like, a, like a nerf. Is that, is, that, is that what they're trying to say? You know? The shit, shit gonna take skill now? But anywho, uh... Basketball IQ and stick skills play an even bigger role in separating top offensive players. This sounds immaculate, man. Um, hopefully this comes to fruition. Defense, a completely revamped shot contest and blocking system. Highlight an arsenal of new defensive tools at your disposal. You know, bro, if they buff defense, it's rap. Skill gap! 
Can, can you say skill gap down in the comments? Playing suffocating defense on the perimeter and in the paint has never felt more rewarding. Okay, I, I could tell, I could tell this cat, my nigga, cause uh, man, bro, if that is actually a thing, that would be so amazing. And 2K21, bro, people can just dribble through you, crab you. There's just no, there's no defense in the game. If y'all ain't know, I know I'll be isolating, but I. I pride myself on defense, you know, since they added in lockdowns and like I ISO, I can't be like guarding ball and stuff unless like I'm on a different account, but like I'm a defensive person, man, you know, my favorite player was Scottie Pippen before future fucked this bitch <laughs> and my favorite player in football is Ray Lewis, you know, that that's who I am. But anywho, they, they also say giving elite defenders the ability to truly change the outcome of the game. So they're saying buffed paint defense leaked? Okay, we, we gonna see. I don't know what the hell this season shit is. Across fan favorite experiences, seasons allow players to extend and enhance their hoop ambitions long after the game's launch. Don't know what that means. Free for all 2K22 gamers in my team, my career, and the W. So I guess the W is leaked. They're keeping that mode. I think it's disrespectful. I don't know. Y'all y'all tell me. Um, anywho, it says it brings more content, more rewards. Oh, you know, we've been begging for rewards, my boy. More rep rewards leaked. <laughs> and more ways to play. And this year's seasons will introduce an all new way to level up your my player and earn exciting prizes in the city. It, it sounds good. And in the neighborhood. More details will be revealed about the expanding seasons experience later in August. Okay, now my team. Um, man, I don't even know if I wanna read this my team shit. Honestly, you can go check this my team shit if you want. I don't, I don't play that damn mode. I'll play it some, I'll play it this year a little bit, but I'm gonna be using someone else's account. So if you a my team head, just hit me up next year. Cause I will not be spending any money on this. I don't know how y'all niggas do it. Y'all niggas are crazy. But um, yeah, new city and new neighborhood. The biggest online basketball community gets two very different makeovers in NBA 2K22. PS5 and Xbox Series S or whatever hell. 2K22 players will step and hoop in all new versions of the city. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC 2K22 players will compete while setting the sail for the high seas. Oh, leak, leak, leak. We're gonna be on islands. We're gonna be on islands. We're gonna be on water. Leak, leak. Take your best my player builds and express yourself through both your game and your style in each unique online experience. Hmm, it sounds it sound good. It sound good. A living, breathing city. Step into an all new city teeming with life, activity, interactivity. <laughs> NPCs, non-playable characters. This sounds ass. I want to play the game. Populate the fresh city layout while my players from all over the world compete at the highest level of playground basketball. Man, look. We can't have two months of lag and people having to play on broadcast because y'all got too much shit. You got the next generation consoles, my boy. Tighten up. And let me know down below what version y'all are going to play first, like PS5 or current gen. And if you plan on, and also let me know if you plan on getting a PS, uh, well, a next generation console or a current generation console uh, before 2K22 comes. But um yeah let's let's get into it. An all new quest system for 2K22 engages my players with creative content while offering new ways to level up and earn rewards in this re-envisioning of the PS5 and Xbox Series S basketball communities. Matchmaking options in the city. Oh my god. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> we need Bro, 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 if we got matchmaking, bro, ah, you telling me I can get games? We, we, we gonna see, bro. We gonna, let, let's read it. The city opens up new and quicker alternatives to get into online hoops. My players can enter, select matchmaking buildings to be placed into immediate competition. Wait, hold on. 
What? Wait, 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 wait. What, what does this mean? Quicker alternatives. We gonna be able to play? Will it be rain? Matchmaking sessions will be available for a number of game types and will contribute to all my player progress. Wait, but is it gonna count for rep in the park? See, we don't know. They might be trying to finesse us, my boy. Like, what, what, what if basically they bring back like some type of three v three pro am shit, and um, like it doesn't help your rep or your record, but it helps your my player progress. I guess that would be cool in a sense, but I don't know. All aboard the two K cruise yacht leaked. Yacht leaked. A neighborhood built on the spacious decks of a sailing cruise ship. I told you, leave. Bro, what, we gonna be on a ship? What the hell? Exploring hoop and <laughs> not <you. laughs> how, how y'all pronounce this? Someone, someone write it down in the comments for me. Luxury. And when the cruise docks and exotic locals throughout the season, make your way to the exclusion counter to participate in shoreside events all taking place completely off the ship so i guess like events we're gonna be like landing somewhere but we're gonna be in the water on the beach what the hell what is going on nigga this sound crazy can y'all handle this lag i mean it sound good like you know like you know more news ahead more new features more new Content await all my players in both the all new city and the new neighborhood. Stay tuned in early September to discover more. My career, all new city becoming one in a groundbreaking narrative experience for NBA 2K. Embark on your personal journey to the pros and sprawling my career life by exploring the city, seeing new and familiar faces and hoping your way to exciting new heights. Okay, so apparently there's just two separate my career. Okay, they ain't really say hidden talents and NBA 2K22 dreams and ambitions in my career stretch beyond the hardwood floors. Players can now pursue side ventures to build a profile in lucrative and trendy spaces. <sighs> I'm trying to play basketball. I ain't gonna hold you. Brush up against the fashion world where the art of the promotion will drive your success as a or get involved in hip hop business where your music talents opens up an intriguing lane in the industry. Bro, this is too much, bro. <laughs> bro, like, I get it, I get it, but I'm trying to drop niggas off, bro. Can y'all handle this lag? No place like home. Moving up in the professional world means expanding your home lifestyle. <laughs> Lag City 22K22, bro. Moving up in the professional world means expanding your home lifestyle, central to your my career narrative and progress. Your personal hub represents your place in the journey to the NBA. As your profile and ambitions level up, so too will you and your home base in the city. More to the journey. My career in NBA 2K22 will feature fresh faces and engaging storylines. And this year, getting drafted into the NBA is only the start of your basketball narrative. My NBA in NBA 2K22 team management is about more than just the players on the court. It's about the personnel that scout them, train them, and coach them. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about this, but I ain't gonna hold you. So look, that's the news. Hey man, y'all let me know what y'all are uh, most excited for, if this sounds promising to you. I don't know, man. Um, My overall take out of this is, like, it sounds good, but it, it sounds like Lag City, NBA 2K22, not to be like negative or pessimistic. I'm just being real, bro. Like, you know, they, they can't handle so much stuff now, like all this, like, I mean, I guess they, they mentioned the, you know, the improvement to the offense. Actually, there is another. Okay, so according to this guy, I don't know who this is. I don't know what this article is. This is some heavy.com. According to him, Mike Wayne, this is not released by 2K. This is some 
whole other site, bro. He's saying that in a previous, a post preview Q and A session, he's saying stamina has been a problem in 2K for a few years. There isn't enough of a tax or a decline in skill for abusing turbo or over dribbling. Listen, I'll tell you right here. If this shit is true, if he like really taxes this shit, this game is gonna be fucking trash, nigga. Like dead ass, bro. Like this shit will be garbage, nigga. Listen, I'ma put it to you real like this. Look, there's little ass kids dribbling all day, <laughs> abusing turbo in real life. You know, they don't start blinking red like they have fucking asthma, bro. Anybody can play, especially someone who's gonna be like the GOAT of the game, can play in a game to 21. You know, do that shit for Pro-Am in my career. Not for no game to 21. Like, what is wrong with you? The best 2Ks had no stamina. You guys are just fucking stupid. It's not realistic. Stamina, this whole stamina shit shouldn't be even a thing in a game to 21, bro. Okay? Over dribbling, all that shit. It's a game to 21, dickheads. Anyone can do that shit, bro. Little kids, bro. I've done it. <laughs> anyone can do it. You probably could do it. Well, probably a lot of y'all niggas is out of shape. But any players that's a hooper, bro, any hooper can just abuse turbo. Like, what, what is going on, bro? Dumbass devs. Per Mike Wang, the team has addressed stamina with a system that now taxes players stamina more based on high effort dribble moves, contact dunks, etc. It sounds similar conceptually to what has been in the game. However, the tax has been far too light and this is ineffective. Wow. If you play my NBA, you have probably noticed you have... <sighs> I'm so discouraged right now. All that other news was cool, but this shit sounding ass, bro. Okay, we got some more news. On PS5 and Xbox Series X, the city returns minus Rookieville. Executive producer Eric said he didn't believe Rookieville offered gamers the best experience in NBA 2K21, so it'll be re it wouldn't be returning in NBA 2K22. There's no elaborate cinematic story this year i don't care about my career y'all let me know if that bothers you instead players will be turned loose to level up their my player in their own way within the city there is a new quest system that is designed to open up new content while providing the opportunity to level up your character in the new city blah blah a major complaint with wreck was the inability to find a game without four other friends 2K announced new matchmaking options that are designed to provide a quicker path into the game. And that's about it, man. This second shit, oh my God, I hope y'all made it through this video, man. If you made it through this whole video, type second to none down below. Um, Listen, bro, like, bro, this shit, it was sounding cool, right? But until he mentioned that stamina shit, that shit sound ass, nigga. Like, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. That shit killed my mood, man. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that, man. <sighs> Make sure y'all subscribe if you new. Hit that like button, man. Let's try and get a thousand likes. And um, I'll post again tomorrow. And turn on them damn post notices, my boy. And subscribe. Share my videos. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. We're talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.